Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking, we've been looking at this book, and uh, I would encourage you to get the book. It is a really good book, and um, I would just encourage you to get it, and uh, you'll be really, really blessed and really, really encouraged as a Mormon and as a Christian. It, it Bible verse, Bible verse, it shows you how the Mormon church has got its teaching wrong. And it's a really gracious book and it's really biblical and sound. I don't agree with everything. You can see on the bit where I talked about priesthood, I just corrected read a little bit there. But uh, it's a very, very excellent book uh, and very, very good indeed. However, I just want to talk about my experience uh, talking to Mormons over the last few years. Uh, about uh, 10 years ago, or 15 years ago, uh, two Mormons um, came to my house and they came for about three weeks I invited them around for a meal and I allowed them to share what they had to say uh, and in the end we were discussing and I said look tell me how you get to know God what what are we to do how are we to get to God and just tell me I want to get saved so if you had someone now how would they get saved so what they did is they they built they they got put on the coffee table a lot of white a white paper cups or plastic cups and they put about they put a lot of them uh, on the first first floor and then they put that was uh, a representative of um, the Bible and then they put some more cups on and that was the Book of Mormon and, and the Joseph Smith and more cups as the high priesthood and, and whatever and they built this pyramid and they said as you look at all these different stages and all and understand all that that's how you become a Christian and it seemed really complicated and it seemed ultimately that you just follow the Mormon church system that's how you get saved and I knocked all these cups down and I made a big white cross and I said you've taken hours, not hours, but you've taken ages telling me this story well I can tell you in a few seconds how to get saved and I I, I, I put out the cross and I told them the message the Christian faith for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life and that's what it's all about as Mormons you're being asked to believe in a system and in, 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 in the church but God asks you to believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to trust in him and him alone and I'd encourage you as a Mormon to do that thank you for listening and take care